a short and sweet little video because I have my Disney Park Pack pin subscription in to unbox. So this is the Disney Park Pack 3.0. It is the Shop Disney Limited Edition monthly pin subscription. It was on hiatus for quite a while. Last month was its first month back. So with this month that means the subscription is back into the swing of things. I'm excited that this finally got in because I had a delay in the shipment. It was set to get in on Tuesday, so I was like, perfect, plenty of time to film and edit before heading to California. But obviously, the UPS truck got delayed coming into Phoenix, so the delivery date got pushed back to Thursday because it was 4th of July in between. So I'm happy to finally have this in, but this also means that it's Thursday night. I have to finish packing for California because my flight is tomorrow. So if you're watching this video on Saturday, this means I was able to successfully complete everything, and I'm currently in San Francisco. Without any further ado, let's actually open up our park pack for this month which is themed to Peter Pan. As always, your magical Disney tissue paper. I always save these. I wanna do something with them, but I don't really know what to do. If you have any creative ideas for actual uses for these, let me know because I have quite the stash of this. And then in our big box, we have our little park pack box in the sleeve. Slide it out and voila. So I'm just gonna open this up to the camera. I won't look myself, but then I'll turn the camera around so I can give a closer look at everything. All right, hopefully these are good variants. So here are our beautiful Peter Pan Park Pack pins. I'd have to say these are probably my favorite looking of all of the Park Pack pins to date. These are just gorgeous designs, even though I don't collect Peter Pan at all. So we have our first pin here with Tinkerbell. This first pin always contains some sort of pin on pin element. Then we have this middle pin, which is the one that always has a really cool sculpted frame. And then the pictures inside are now one of three different variants. So this one is pretty cool. I'm happy with this one. This one has the darlings and some of the lost boys. And then this final pin always has a really awesome large stained glass element. And it features Peter Pan and his shadow. I'm also quite pleased with these because all of the pins this month are nice and secured in their box. Last month, two of my pins were loose and came off their pin backs, so packing was a little bit better this time. So our first pin is this really beautiful Tinkerbell pin. I don't really care for Tink much at all as a character, but I have to say this Tink pin is one of the prettiest that I've seen recently. She's hiding behind a leaf which is made with some stained glass or like translucent fill. The color doesn't come across quite as great on camera, but it's a pretty vibrant red. And you can see that leaf is the pin on pin element for that. But the details on this are just amazing because you have Tink on the pin base, then she's hiding behind the leaf and you can still see her figure outline that's included in this part of the pin. So if you're a Tink collector, this pin is definitely a must have. After the reconfiguration, these park packs now only have three different variants. So this variant is pin two of three, and like all of them, it's an Ellie of 500. For our center pin, we have the beautiful sculpted metal frame with our scene inside. I think this is probably my favorite frame to date. You have your icons like Skull Rock, Nana's Dog House, the teepees, and Big Ben Clock Tower. There's even little stars added in. And again, I'm pretty happy with this scene here. The other variants I've seen have Captain Hook and Peter Pan, I believe. I'm quite fond of this because it has quite a few characters in it, and I think the colors also match well with the frame around it. And this pin here is variant number one of three. And then we have our final pin, the stained glass pin, and this by far has to be my absolute favorite out of the bunch. This has Peter Pan kind of playing with his shadow against the wall. There's all this screen printed pixie dust added, and I absolutely love the color of this stained glass element. It's like hovering in between a blue and purple. It kind of depends on what the background it's put against, but this pin is nearly like all stained glass in the back. It's absolutely beautiful. It's something that I would almost be tempted to keep, even though I don't collect anything related to Peter Pan. This, I'd have to say, is a top-notch pin design. On the back, you can see just how much of this pin is stained glass. It's almost surprising that they do have a full Mickey Waffle pattern on the back. 
and they did somehow manage to fit all the text inside so this pin is a variant number one of three an le 500 like all the rest so thankfully all my peter park pack pins came in better late than never I'm sure Peter Pan collectors are super happy with this month because these designs really pulled through. They would definitely have to be my favorite that this subscription has come out with so far. I don't think that I'm going to keep this just because I don't collect Peter Pan. It's not a movie I'm very strongly attached to, so I'll likely be looking to sell or trade these. This month, most likely sell, just because it's a pretty expensive pin subscription, and I kind of have to rotate between ones that I want to trade or keep and ones that I kind of should sell. But I'm just looking forward to see what next month's pins look like. I believe that was teased to be Aladdin by Disney. So I think there's quite a few cool designs that they can come up with. But after that, I'm even more excited because then the months go back to a total surprise. Let me know if you're also subscribed to the Disney Park Pack. Because they reduced the total variance of these pins, there are fewer subscription slots available. So if you are looking to subscribe to the Park Pack, you kind of just have to keep your eye out on the Shop Disney website if any happen to open up. Also, I apologize for the sound on this because I put my microphone on myself, but I didn't actually plug it into my phone. That shows what happens when you try and rush things a little bit too much. But as always, thanks for watching.